SpaceX is hitting another major milestone in its quest for space dominance. The company has just shipped its second-generation upper-stage Starship spacecraft to its test site, signaling that preparations for Starship Flight 7 are officially underway. This spacecraft represents a massive leap forward in SpaceX's pursuit of innovation, and it's only a matter of time before the next chapter of Starship's journey unfolds. Starship Flight 7 could be ready to launch as early as January, marking yet another leap forward in SpaceX's extraordinary progress. Just yesterday, SpaceX took a significant step closer to that goal. The team successfully conducted a static fire test of the massive 232-foot-tall Super Heavy booster. This wasn't just another routine check, it might very well be the final pre-launch test for this colossal rocket. When you consider the sheer scale of the Super Heavy, the importance of this test becomes even clearer. This isn't just another rocket, it's the backbone of SpaceX's vision for the future of space exploration. The booster isn't merely designed to lift payloads, it's paving the way for humanity's next giant leap into space. The upper stage starship itself is about to take center stage in the upcoming mission, much like it did in Starship Flight 6. Flight 6 was a landmark test, pushing the spacecraft's re-entry capabilities to their limits. This mission was all about stress testing the heat shield and fin systems, critical components for future flights. During the test, SpaceX flew the rocket at a flatter angle before initiating a flip maneuver for a water landing. The fins were put under incredible stress as they worked to reorient the vehicle for splashdown. Despite the increased challenge, the heat shield and fins performed admirably, ultimately leading to a successful soft landing in the Indian Ocean. That mission also marked the retirement of the first-generation upper-stage Starship. Leading up to Flight 6, the spacecraft underwent a series of extensive tank tests to validate its structural integrity, ensuring it could handle larger propellant loads. Now, with Flight 7 on the horizon, SpaceX is unveiling the second-generation upper-stage Starship, and this new version is packed with enhancements that will make it even more powerful. We're talking larger fuel tanks, redesigned flaps, and improved heat shields. Everything engineered to push the boundaries of what's possible in space travel. Preparations for Flight 7 began with the Super Heavy Booster's rollout to the launch pad for its static fire test. This was followed by the booster's return to the assembly facility for additional checks and the installation of critical systems, like the hot staging ring. Meanwhile, the second-generation upper-stage Starship has now arrived at the test stand, where it's expected to undergo its own static fire test. This evaluation will ensure that the spacecraft's six Raptor engines, including three equipped with larger nozzles for vacuum operations, are ready for the upcoming integrated test flight. Speaking of engines, Flight 6 marked a significant milestone as SpaceX successfully fired a Raptor engine in space for the first time. This achievement not only demonstrated the engine's capability, but also paved the way for SpaceX to secure FAA approval for orbital missions which is a crucial step in their long-term goals. Now let's talk about the upgrades. The second-generation Starship isn't just a minor tweak. It's a major overhaul. The larger fuel tanks are designed to optimize the fuel-to-mass ratio, extending engine burn times and enabling more versatile mission profiles. The payload door has also been repositioned higher on the spacecraft, reflecting SpaceX's focus on efficiency. These changes are crucial, especially as SpaceX looks to tackle ambitious missions like lunar landings and Mars exploration. Speaking of missions, what's next for Starship? Following the fun debut of Mr. Banana as the first Starship passenger, Fans are eagerly speculating on what SpaceX will send up next. Will it be Mrs. Watermelon? Who knows, but it's certainly adding an element of fun to the process as we await each new reveal. 
One of the more significant upgrades expected after Flight 7 involves the relocation of the lifting point on the spacecraft. Future starships will have this lifting point moved to the new payload bay, a design change that's set to improve balance and handling during integration. These tweaks, coupled with changes to the forward flaps, are designed to make Starship easier to handle and more efficient in the long run. At Starbase, preparations are in full swing for some truly groundbreaking tests. One of the most highly anticipated aspects of Flight 7 is the potential for a successful attempt at catching the booster using the Mechazilla arms. While this maneuver was aborted during Flight 6, the lessons learned have helped SpaceX make crucial improvements. Ensuring stability and coordination between the booster's engine and grid fins will be key to the success of this maneuver. If they pull it off, it will mark a significant step toward making full reusability a reality, which is exactly what SpaceX needs to lower the cost of space travel. Looking ahead, SpaceX is already moving on to the next V2 prototype, S35. This version boasts fully finished components, including heat-resistant tiles on the flaps and an improved jointing system for better structural integrity. These enhancements are designed to address issues seen in earlier prototypes, and S35 will likely be a major player in Flight 9, which could attempt a ship-catching mission after Flight 7 and 8. Meanwhile, Booster 16 is nearing completion, and SpaceX is pushing forward toward its ambitious goal of 25 Starbase flights and 44 launches from Florida in the coming year. The pace of innovation is staggering, and each step forward is bringing us closer to a future where space travel is a routine and reliable part of life. Of course, SpaceX isn't without its challenges. The FAA's licensing process remains a bottleneck, especially under the Part 450 regulations. But with increasing congressional pressure and the formation of the Space-Related Aerospace Rulemaking Committee, SPARC, there's hope that things will speed up. SPARC is working to streamline approval processes and cut through the red tape which is vital for SpaceX and others to maintain their momentum and ensure that the U.S. stays ahead in the space race. In conclusion, the journey to Starship Flight 7 is shaping up to be one of the most exciting chapters in SpaceX's history. With massive hardware improvements, a relentless testing schedule, and the possibility of regulatory reforms on the horizon, the future of space exploration is looking brighter than ever. Stay tuned as we continue to witness SpaceX's extraordinary progress. This is history in the making, and we're all part of it. Finally, we highlighted the significance of these advancements in achieving SpaceX's ultimate vision, enabling sustainable interplanetary travel. These improvements aren't just about building a rocket. They're about redefining what's possible for humanity's future in space. So... What makes these changes so critical, and how do they shape the destiny of Starship? Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.